listening to The Mountain Gardener with local expert, Ken Lane. Mountain gardening is very rewarding, with a few of Ken's tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts sure to turn your thumbs even greener. Now welcome back to The Mountain Gardener. And we are back in the studio with Lisa Waters Lane. She comes each week and just shares her garden knowledge, plethora of garden knowledge. I just had to use that word today. Uh, so she's coming in to just share. I see you've got all kinds of, it looks like the first crop of pansies came in. They did. They're spectacular. I know. Are those yeah. mammoth pansies? Well, okay. We're talking about these already, yeah. huh? I think before we go there, because I really want to do a shout out for uh, next weekend. Yes. So grapes for good. So each quarter we give the garden center away to a nonprofit. And so uh, the fall Prescott Frontier Rotary uses mm -hmm. for the last 17 years, the garden center to raise money for the schools locally. So they're coming in uh, September 17th. Right. It's after hours, five to eight o'clock. It's the, it's the best garden party. It you is. Ever want. I mean, it is a hoot. It's a lot of fun. You see your Friends from your communities, you see friends from all over the town and Prescott Valley and Chino Valley. And yeah, so it's fun. So come join us. Tickets are 80 bucks. Bring a friend, bring neighbors, all the money. The sponsors have covered all the costs. So mm -hmm. Barry with uh, El Gato Azul is going to do all the cooking. He's pairing the wines with Lloyd's Liquor downtown. He's got desserts kind of figured out. Uh, it should be a fun time. Bring neighbors and friends. Mm -hmm. You can get tickets at yes. PrescottFrontierRotary.com. So they've got a button right there. You just buy a ticket and there you go. It's all digital kind of stuff. Oh, cool. They, they so they print the... it off and bring their ticket with I them or is it on your phone? All of the above. Oh, print. Cool. Just they're pretty sophisticated. Or then oh. they've got your name and number right there. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. QR codes, all this. Boy, they're very sophisticated. Fancy. Who'd ever figure? <laughs> so Prescott <laughs> Frontier Rotary. You can just Google that and it'll pop right out. Yeah. They're a major rotary club here in town. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a lot of good, good, good work with yeah. uh, high schools, leadership programs exchange students mm -hmm. from other countries. They're just doing no, a lot of good. Very worthwhile. Yeah. And I would say, if you've not been in the garden center in the early evening, it is a very magical place because yeah. the, the smells from all the flowers just get stronger. And it, it's just a very beautiful, magical place in the evening. The uh, uh, the garden center the, the, the comes alive. So hummingbirds, mm -hmm. butterflies, yeah. they, all, they all come out that time of the day. So, they do. Um, anyway. Now we can okay. talk flowers. How about that? Now we can talk flowers. So I did bring, we just did get our first crop of pansies. Um, these are the, what'd you call them? You're Mammoth. right. Mammoth. Elephants. <laughs> Mammoth. Mammoth. Woolly. Woolly. Woolly mammoth. <laughs> pansies. Um, they're a mix. They're a beautiful mix. They're a gallon size. We had them grown specifically for us, from our growers. Uh, so really cool. Yes, you can put them in now. And yeah. yes, they will go through the winter into the spring and they'll keep growing until May almost. June, in the shade, where they're at. right yeah. through. I mean, mm -hmm. they might come back. We don't tell them they'll go through summer. We just want you to plant geraniums from marigolds. <laughs> but uh, sometimes they will. They don't like the heat. Mm -hmm. They love right. the cold. Right. And yes, they, they're happy with snow on them. They don't mind it. So it's a wonderful little plant to get going in your containers or your flower beds. And so you can enjoy it. For most of the winter, yeah. we got lots of time left to enjoy it. Yeah. God, they smell good. They smell mm -hmm. like pansies. <laughs> Dipped in coffee. Yay. So, so our first crop is in coffee. Our first crop of those is in. And then um, I wanted to bring in an aster. I kind of showed one last week, but it wasn't in full bloom. Yeah, so I wanted to bring sure. an aster in this week that is in full bloom. This is kind of a dark pink one. It is spectacular. It's gorgeous. Yeah. And the funny, I was hiking this morning. I was looking around and there is a lot of little native aster is coming up. And it's a more of a purple one, yeah. but it's so cute. It's popping up on all the little trails and it's a good wildflower. True here. native and it, it's, it will actually reseed and spread mm -hmm. across the yard, plant at the top side of a, of a, a hill that'll spill down. So mm -hmm. true, true native. So yeah. butterflies mm -hmm. love it. Full sun, yeah. 
take a blow dryer to it, <laughs> curse it asters, and they still bloom like crazy. They do. And we have, I think, four different varieties in right at the moment. So definitely a good time to come pick some out. We encourage you to do that. Oh, I'll, I'll put it over here. Okay. So we also got some other. So last week we were kind of talking about uh, things that give you fall color because we're big into that four season yard. And that fall color is really important. And we got a truck in and it had some more of the fall color stuff on Good. it. So I Flowers. thought I would. Shrubs. Shrubs. Okay. Even better. <laughs> Burning bush. So yes, great? we got, well, let me tell you. Oh, there we go. So we got some burning bush in. Now this is the uh, Euonymus variety of the burning bush. It's the compacta. And it's the one that's green leafed now, but pretty soon here, it's going to start turning that red color. And yeah. it's just a bright, bright red one. So we've got that one in. We also have fire, firepower in Andina. Now, nice. most people are used to the Nandina or Heavenly Bamboo. The boring one. The boring one. This one is a th about a 30 by 30. So it is still evergreen. So it's green right now, but pretty soon it's going to start turning that red, 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 orangey red color. Yeah. And it's probably out of all the Nandinas gives you the most fall color. And they'll stay that color until they hit their new growth next spring. So it was about hip high, something like that. It's Gross. about 30 by 30. 30 inches. Yeah. 30 feet. I guess it 30. depends how tall you are. Yeah. 30 inches by it's 30 just inches. Just hip high or so. If you're okay. six foot or five <laughs> foot, uh, eight uh, and a half inches, that's uh, hip high. That's true. Oh, I guess it depends on how long your legs are. I don't Ooh. know. See, it's all relative. We got some chokeberry in. So um, ch chokeberry is aronia. So it is another one that's green, right? Well, it's it's another kind of multi-season plant because it'll put on a white flower in the spring. Uh, it'll put on its green leaves. Then it does a berry. So we got two different ones in. We got one that gets about six by six. It's the brilliant ten, brilliantissima. There's Try a name say that. for you. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, ten, 10 times slow. I know. <laughs> Uh, but it, it, they're again just beautiful red, red foliage, uh, and you get the berries on it. Chokeberry well. is one of those that is not appreciated. It's not mm. talked about enough. I should write an article on. You those. should. They're so robust here. Mm -hmm. They're kind of unique to this southwest area. So right. this is this is the time to plant them too. Definitely, because they look so good. If you're into attracting birds, mm -hmm. you just want native, drought hardy, easy to grow shrubs. Chokeberry. Yeah. So we've got the Brilliantissima, which is six by six. And then they got a, a new one they've called Mel Low Scape. Mel Low Scape. So it's, mellow, it's mellow. smaller, gets about yeah. 20 by 20. Okay. But there again, you get the white flowers, you get the berries, and then you get that beautiful fall color on so there as knee well. High or head high? Yep. Pick. Definitely got to check take those out. <laughs> and then we got some more uh, Barberry in. Now, I love Barberry. I love the colors of the Barberry because you just such unique, bright colors. We got Orange Rocket in, which is that taller, narrower one. It definitely has that orangey-ish color, yeah. orangey red color to it. Year, not year round, but throughout the season. Yeah. Uh, goes dormant in the wintertime. We got uh, the Lavender Nugget, which is kind of a, I think it's about a two by two Real dark burgundy one. And then we got Golden Ruby, which is another smaller one, but it, it's really pretty because it has the golden colors and the red colors in it. I like Barberry. Anything with a with a with a barb on it. So Barberry <laughs> has little, little tiny thorns. Mm -hmm. You know it's gonna be good for Arizona. So right. it takes the sun, it takes the wind, mm -hmm. things don't eat on it. It's just a good, robust plant. And they're not they're not evergreen. Right. But the texture on them is so interesting that mm -hmm. they look really interesting in the winter and they look interesting in the spring. That's when true. they flower, they're a pollinator. In the mm -hmm. summer, they've got that bright color. Yeah. They just have a lot going on from, and we grow barberry better than anyone else in the country they because do. it likes the dry and the sun. Right. So it's a perfect plant for here. It is. It is. It looks beautiful in the fall landscapes as well. So some of the other stuff we got in that we've been waiting for, I'll do it real quick. Uh, we got some new Vanderwolf pines in, in five and 10 gallon. They look real pretty. One of my favorite pines. It's a great soft pine. Yeah. It is. Uh, we got some new Oregon green pines in. This is a really nice manageable size that you can get into your yard. And we also got some new Austrian pines in. And we have more coming. 
More so coming. That's good. So the fall crops are coming. In. So they are. Lisa, thank you for being here. Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners. We'll be back after this. Whether you're freshening up an existing landscape or starting with a blank slate, the Waters in-store garden consultation is right for anyone. If you don't know where to start, Waters Personal Shopper Service allows you to book one-on-one time with an expert without the crowds. It's easy by phone or through our website. No lines, no waiting. Purchase a $250 gift card from Waters, and it comes with one-on-one private gardener time. You're going to love your yard again. Waters Garden Center in Prescott or watersgardencenter.com. Look for more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website. Podcast the show, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook and Instagram at watersgardencenter.com. That's Waters with two T's, gardencenter.com. If you enjoy this show and would like to hear more, please subscribe to The Mountain Gardener wherever you like to listen to podcasts. And if you'd like even more garden tips, tricks, and helpful advice, please check out my website at watersgardencenter.com for classes, videos, and more. Or my online garden center at top10plants.com. Throughout the week, Lisa and I can be found here at Waters Garden Center in Prescott.